not so cheesy kitchen. Uh -huh. um, it's a friend of mine who has a blog that's called galactopdx.blogspot.com. Uh -huh. And she has two children that cannot have dairy, and uh -huh. that's why she started this blog. Uh -huh. And it's awesome for me because she transfers all kinds of German recipes into dairy free recipes. And in this case, it's so dairy written in the recipe that I have in the Crossing Boundaries, Käse Sahne Torte, it's in there. It's a, so mandarin cream cheese, not cream, cream pie. Mm -hmm. It has quark in it and cream and yeah, just a lot of um, dairy. And we are making one today that will use tofu instead of dairy and cocoa whip instead of whipped cream. Awesome. So first we need to beat the eggs with the sugar for a while. While you're doing that, tell people what quark is. Please. Oh yeah, so quark, as far as I know, is a byproduct from yogurt making. That's what I've known. But, mm -hmm. And it's kind of sour and hard and kind of like, um, what is it called? The cheese. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, yeah. Okay, so I'm putting two eggs in and the water. It's three tablespoons of cold water. Okay, first we need to beat that, I guess. Just trying to follow the direction. All right, here we go. Uh oh, plug it. <laughs> Try to be prepared. Okay, next it says to scrape out half a vanilla bean. Well, don't have that, but I have this vanilla Mad Madagascar vanilla bean powder from the spice shop. And you know, you know how much I measure. This is about good. <laughs> and then sugar. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Next step, we have the flour, the cornstarch, and the baking powder. And you just want to make to make sure you mix it really well because of the baking powder so it doesn't clump up somewhere and mess up the height of your cake. I already put um, wax paper on the bottom of my spring form. What yeah, is it called? I think so. Okay, well, baking form, whatever. And so it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm not gonna uh, put any oil on here or butter because if it rises, and then falls again, it gets stuck there and then it can't fall and it gets stuck there. If there's butter, then it will go down more. At least that's what my mom told me. Anyway, and then, now we're just gonna slowly add it in here. And now we're ready to put it in the oven. It doesn't look like enough. Hmm, how thick is it supposed to be? Um, well, this is how it's supposed to be, but it just seems very little. Oh well, we'll see. How much is it going to rise? It's supposed to rise quite a bit. Yeah. But still, we'll see. And you just made this a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, a few weeks ago. <laughs> is it different this time? I thought it was, but... Huh. Hmm. 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 Excuse me. I set the oven to 350. In the recipe it says 375, and that is because my oven runs really hot. So I don't want to burn my cake and I still want to slowly cook it. Okay, so again, because my oven runs hot, I'm setting 20 minutes instead of 25 minutes, because I'm going to check it. I'm not going to open up the door because I think you cannot open up the door with this kind of cake, because it will fall down. All right. And what are you looking for? Uh, I don't want any dough get stuck on my wooden stick. <laughs> so, it came out a little different this time. Yeah, it just didn't rise as much, but you know, we're gonna fudge it. Did you, um, you were I just... measured. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I did measure. Well, what are you worried? Maybe didn't get enough or too much? I did maybe not put enough flour in, maybe. Oh. 
Oh. I was a little distracted getting ready for a cooking show. All right, so what's the deal? So, we have a problem. Uh -oh. this, this didn't rise enough, and I'm not sure if I didn't measure right, very possible, or <laughs> it just didn't rise at all. So, um, I need to make it again so I have a top. Here we go. All right. I baked the top again. Well, the top. Now is the top. <laughs> so, what do you normally do? How does it normally well, happen? Normally, it would raise rise to about this height and then you can cut it in half uh -huh. but I baked it twice because I don't know what's going on um, if anybody has a trick I would like to know it but sometimes it works for me and then sometimes it just doesn't so it just didn't rise it did not rise hmm. and then so this is going to be now the bottom okay and then this is going to be the top and I cut it already in all the slices so that it's easy to cut later so we don't squish our filling mm -hmm. So now we want to get the filling going, which I have one pack of gelatin that I'm going to dissolve in some water here with our lucky spatula. <laughs> Oopsie, uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. Okay, so here's our gelatin. Just in here. Half a cup lemon juice. One fourth here. And sugar. What did I do with my sugar? It calls for three fourths a cup. Do I want to do that? Um, it seems like a lot. <laughs> you can prepare, you're not ready. And then vanilla bean again. Like traditionally, what does this recipe use? It uses quark, which we talked about yesterday. So the tofu is, takes the place of the quark, the quark really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Then we're going to add lemon zest. Look. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Just hair problems. But we're under time pressure because I want to make this for your mom's birthday and it's today and it has to be in the refrigerator for three hours. That's when you'll get dressed, right? That's, I'm going to get dressed after this thing is in the refrigerator. <laughs> and then I'll be more presentable for the next video. All right. Untreated lemon. And we just want to get all that zest because it's yummy. And then you're going to also add some mandarin oranges into it. And uh, I'm going to save enough to put on top of the cake, but uh, I'm going to put this much in there. Right. And then we just blend it up and then we're ready to add the cocoa whip. Okay. Mm. Hey, <laughs> it says one and a half to two cups of whip topping. I use cocoa whip. It's a little more than a cup, but I'll adjust. This is my problem probably with baking. <laughs> it usually works out though. It's all good. I'm just gonna do this because <laughs> <laughs> there must be something else you could throw in there too. I'm sure. So you don't blend no, because, this last bit? No, you're supposed to just kind of carefully blend it in. I don't know. But you know, maybe I have to put it in the if the because it's the the whipped cream is a little bit hard. Mm. Um, put it in with what? Lee? Actually, whip it, yeah, whip it. just slowly, maybe. Oh my god! What's going on? It's full of sugar and a gear. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what, what's the goal? The goal is so that the the filling is not going to get stuck on the side. Uh huh. And so that's why we're putting this foil around it. Oh boy. Oh god. I mean, you don't want it to look like it, everything just beautifully, magically works, right? Because. But it does in the cooking shows. Oh, I know. All right, I call this good. And then 
And we're going to put this in here. Mm. Here you go, Dave. Oh. And then we want to put these slices on there too. So talk more about this pre-cut thing. Well, we're doing this because um, it's going to be a soft filling and you don't want to push on the cake when you cut it. So then it will squish out the side. So if it's pre-cut, then no squishiness. Gotcha. It works really well. Oops. I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scooch over, dude. Uh-oh. What's going on? Well, that would be extra. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Never happened. <laughs> so now we're going to cover it with foil from Costco from 1992, and I still have it till the end of my life. <laughs> and then it goes in the fridge for at least three hours. And now we're gonna shower. <laughs> mm. Okay, it's been three hours. And so I'm gonna open this puppy up and see what we got. Look at that. Mm, I might wanna lift this later. Oh yeah. So why the sifting? It's not like it needs to be sifted, right? It's well, just to spread it evenly? that's how it's going to spread Ooh, it evenly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see. Right, and then... I'm just not sure if I have enough. I didn't count, really, but... Here we go. What? You didn't count? I didn't. So it's still on the bottom of the spring form then, right? Right. But there's paper, so it's easy to lift it off. But then how do you... Well, you'll be giving away a piece at a time, Yeah, right? I could just leave it like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Boy, we'll see. Um, <laughs> Here, let me... Um, it didn't have the full three hours yeah. in the refrigerator, and so we're putting it in the refrigerator in the van because we need to make our first delivery to my mom for her birthday. Here we are in the car driving to mom's, surprising her for her birthday with a cake. Hopefully, if it hasn't flown out of the refrigerator, we'll see. Are you ready to see how we how how it fared? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah. oh boy, that's so sad. Oh. Effort's so good. Oh boy. Ooh, I taste orange. It's a mandarin. It's good. Oh boy. So the cake is stuck to the paper. Oh, don't. But the paper is loose from the pan. Is the paper a good idea? <laughs> What's your assessment? Um, not the kind of paper that I used. Dave, we can't use that. That's, that's just, it's, no, Dave. So here we are, day, when did you make this? Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh my gosh, so just day two. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. Like it, it firmed up nice after that, you know, little mini disaster. Uh -huh. um, so lesson learned, you yeah. cannot, you know, be in a hurry. <laughs> it has to stay in the fridge for at least three hours more is better. Overnight. Yeah. Overnight. Yeah. All right. And if your tofu is really soft, use two gelatin packets. I, I wish I would have done that. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>